Here are five multiple choice questions on transformations. Question number one is, range of y equals to minus x square plus 2x plus 1 is, you can always pause the video, copy these questions, answer, and then look into my suggestions. Question number two, which of the following transformations is required to graph y equals to square root of minus 4 minus x? from its parent function. So parent function is square root x. You are given four choices. You can always pause the video, answer, and then uh, look into my suggestions. Question number three. In the graph shown, g of x equals to f of kx, which of the following is the equation of g of x? So this is the f of x graph and that is g of x. You have to select the right option. Let's move on. Question number four. Domain of the function f of x is minus two, zero, two, four, and six. Find the domain of transform function f of six minus two x plus one. And the last question here is, Point A, 2 minus 4, is on the graph of function 3F, 2 minus X minus 1. Find the image of this point on F of X. Now, once you have done, look into my suggestions. Now, here are my solutions. Question number 1, range of Y equals to minus X square plus 2X plus 1 is what? So, we need to complete squares, right, to get the range. So we have y equals to minus x square plus 2x plus 1. Let's take minus common. So we get x square plus becomes minus 2x. Keep this one separate. Now next step is we'll add and subtract half of 2 which is 1 square. So we'll add to this expression plus 1 square and minus 1 square plus 1. Now, first three terms form a perfect square. Let me use square brackets here. So we get x minus 1 whole square. These three terms, right? And minus 1 square is minus 1 plus 1. Let's open the bracket now. So we get minus x minus 1 whole square. Minus minus becomes plus 1 plus 1. So that gives you y equals to minus x minus 1 whole square plus 2. So clearly, there is a parabola which is opening downwards and the vertex is at 1 and 2, right? So this negative means downwards, right? So y is less than or equal to 2, which is option C. So that is how you are going to get this particular solution. So go through this once again, try to understand. Whenever you are given standard form of quadratic equation, do complete the squares, get the vertex form, right? And only then you have the correct answer. So you have to write in vertex form. Here is question number two. Which of the following transformations is required to graph the given function? So first step is rewrite the function in standard form. That is, we should take away this minus so you could write this as x plus 4. Do you see that? Now we know what it is. That is a reflection on y-axis. And this means 4 units left. Correct? So let's look for reflection on um, y-axis and 4 units left. So option C is the right option. Correct? So that is how you are going to answer this question. Question number three. In the graph shown, f of x, g of x is f of kx. Now this indicates horizontal stretch or compression. Now in our case, f of x is the original function. So what we see here is that it is 
stretching outward. So we have stretch in this case, right? Now, since it is stretching from, instead of one, it has gone to three. Do you see that? It has gone to three. So, so the function is horizontally stretched by a factor of three. And therefore, what should be k equals to? k should be equal to one over three. That is important to understand. So the function is, 1 over 3x so that is the right option b is the right option correct that is how you are going to answer this question i hope the concept is clear question number four domain of function is given to you find domain of transformed function so all the x values we are looking into right so again we'll rewrite this function we could write this as taking minus two common we get x minus 3. So whenever you have that kind of function, you have to rearrange. Otherwise, you might get wrong answer. Now, these two will contribute to the domain, right? So they will contribute to domain. One is for range. So let us see how domain changes. So it gets multiplied by half, minus half rather. So the x values get multiplied by minus half. And that 3 indicates that you have to add 3 to it. Correct? So each value here has to be multiplied by minus half. And then you have to add 3 to it. Correct? So that is how you are going to get the solution. So let's do it um, properly. So what I will have, I will just show you how to do it. We will write these values. Minus 2, 0, 2, 4 and 6. So if I do minus half of this value, I get plus 1, 0, minus 1, minus 2, and minus 3. And now, what we should do? We should add 3, right? So now we'll add 3 to this. So if you add 3, you get 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 is the right answer, which is option A. So it's very important to follow the steps first very critical step is rewrite the transformation so that you understand what exactly is to be done and then translate the points using the transformation right so so the x values are going to change to minus half x plus 3 the y values will actually become y plus 1 just that right since we are only interested in domain we're looking into the x values only i hope that is absolutely clear now let's see the last question here, which is point A is 2 minus 4 is on the graph of this function. So first part is rewrite the function. So it is 3, F, again minus is common, so we get x minus 2, right, and minus 1. So in this case, the coordinates which are like x0, y0 on the original will move to x values will become negative and then you have to add 2, right? So negative y of x 0 plus 2. As far as the y values are concerned, they get multiplied by 3 and then you take away 1. So those are the points. What we are given here is a point 2 minus 4 is on the graph of that function, transform function. So A is here. We need to find these points. You get an idea, right? So, so what we are given is minus x0, the original point, plus 2 is 2. So from here, we can do plus 2 minus 2 is x0. So x0 is equal to 0. On the other hand, for y point, 3 times original point minus 1 is minus 4. 2 like this. So 3y, so we get here minus 4 plus 1, which is minus 3 and y value is minus 3 divided by 3, which is minus 1. So, so this is y is 0 point, right? So the actual points which we get are 0 and minus 1. Option A is the right option, correct? So that is how all these questions can be answered. We'll actually take another part of transformations where we'll be concentrating more on sketching transformed functions. So here we have done part A of the test. I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. 
If you like and subscribe my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.